Hey guys, welcome to Tommy Legends. This is the Grasshopper video part two, the build. So let's get cracking. Right, what I like to do before I start a build is get organized and I never used to be like this. And I found that, you know, bits would go missing and nothing missing from a Tamiya kit. It was always me who'd misplaced it and I left a screw in a bag and things. It's really frustrating. So what I like to do now, um, I use just these em empty tubs. Um, empty the screw bags out and obviously you know where exactly everything is and you've got plenty of room to get your hands in instead of fiddling, fidd fiddling around with little bags. So there we go. It takes a little a couple of seconds to do but it's well worth doing. Everything's in the right place. Dead easy to get your hands in and get the stuff out and um, no danger of misplacing anything or losing anything. Okay, so the first stage is the gearbox assembly, which is very straightforward. What I like to do again is whatever bits I need, get them all out, get them all ready. Um, obviously we're not using the nylon um, bushes that are supplied, we're using the metal ball bearings, so it's just a case of replacing those out. Um, other thing I would say is don't be lazy with your plastics. Um, I used to be. Make sure you trim with a sharp knife all the little um, edges that um, you get from the plastic being on the plastic tree. Because it's well worth it when the model's finished uh, and it takes seconds. So right, let's get this gearbox built up. Right, that's the messy part done. Um, ball races are fitted, nylon gears are fitted and the diff is built. It's hardly built is it because it's not much, it's not a complicated one. Um, as I say guys, don't be shy on the Tamiya grease that's supplied get plenty in there. I've got to put it on these um, gears yet um, and then the gearbox gets close together and sealed. But yeah, the um, as I say, don't be shy on that because that's probably the most crucial part of the whole build. Right, that's the gearbox all built and complete with the lovely ball racers in either end. As I say, fully greased up. Now, obviously, we, as I said in the intro video, we're building this as complete standard with the, a, a little 380 motor. Um, so we'll put the motor in the gearbox and that's stage one complete. Right, that's the motor in. That was actually quite tricky because underneath, because it's a little 3.8 motor and it's got this little plastic cover here, it has um, two little nuts that are countersunk into this plastic. And obviously with the metal, with the engine motor being so magnetic, you have to um, kind of do it all in one movement. I mean, it took me about four attempts. Anyway, it's in um, and it's all nice and smooth. What I, what I tend to do is just get the gears working, put the diffs, make sure the grease gets round and then obviously hold the other side and spin the, get the motor spinning. It just gets the grease all around the gearbox. Um, so that's that complete, let's move on to the next stage. Right, she's starting to take shape now. That's the gearbox assembly done. Gearbox now fitted to the chassis and the um, both sidebars fitted. Um, I've forgotten actually how basic this kit is and it goes together really quickly. Um, which is awesome. Obviously, that's the gearbox that for the pivots on for the suspension. Um, so next bit is to build and fit the rear shocks, and I loosely use the term shocks. <laughs> all right, let's get these done. All right, that's the back end complete, all finished. Um, Pogo stick shocks fitted. And there's not much movement in them. That's why the grasshopper is renowned for bouncing around but that's his character, so it's pretty cool. Right, let's move on to the next step. Right, that's the front steering servo in and fitted, and the steering arms measured and done. Um, and then I've come to the, the tricky bit. Now, I said I wasn't gonna use the electronic speed controller. Um, I want to stay old school and use a free step. So I'm in new ground here because obviously this is a re re manual and there's there's nothing to tell you how to do it. So I've had to jump onto Google and um, download a PDF manual, two or three pages of it, to figure out what it looked like. And what's really cool is Tamiya have still on the normal parts tree. They've actually still moulded the old two pieces of plastic you need. One two that I think I believe goes on. Um, here to where your speedo sits and this thing is for your server it's it's an arm um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this this is what it looks like so I've looks like I've got all the bits so fingers crossed I am gonna better do this which is really cool because this was the whole point of, of building this car as kind of old school as I could 
So uh, I'm going to try put this together now and um, we'll see what it looks like. Fingers crossed. Right, that's the extra servo and the um, speed, or manual speed controller in place. So the brackets worked really well that are supplied for the servo and, and this and obviously the um, resistor just bolts to the back of the car as standard. Um, the trouble I have is this, the one I've got, it's quite thick wire um, and I need to put an extra bend in it because, I don't know if you can see that, it's got too much play there. Um, but yeah, basically we're, um, we're almost there. So I think what I need to do next is put some power through this and make sure that this um, manual speed controller works uh, and just make sure this servo works because it's it's a weird manufacturer. So it looks it looks awesome, I've got to say. Um, it's gone together really well, but let's see if we'll put some power through. Let's see what happens. Right, that's um, the build of the chassis finished. Um, and I'm well chuffed with that. Everything, all this stuff went together perfectly. Um, switch it on and you can have a quick see. I'm going to have to leave the switch floating, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, so we've got steering's all in, all working fine. And it's obviously only got the 380 motor in, so you can't actually hear the free step going up, but. So I'm really chuffed with that, that's gone together, absolutely fantastic, well chuffed. Um, right, so as I say, that's the chassis built, next on is the wheels and tyres and then the body shell. Um, so let's crack on. Right, I'm just on the wheel section now, uh, and I'm just building the fronts up because they're a lot, lot easier than the rears. Um, I'll show you how to do the rears. Um, but just one little thing, I've just built one up one of the fronts and stuck the ball races in. Um, but one thing to note is these two screws here, the longer one is for the rear and the small one is for the fronts. Now obviously they come in the same pack and they're all mixed up, but um, just as a tip, it's really beneficial to make sure that you get the, the right screws because I've had plenty of grasshoppers that I've bought second hand and they've used the long screws in the rear. And what happens is, as you can see, that's as bad, that, that, this, is, this is correct. So there's about, I don't know, six, five or six threads coming through the nut, and then that's perfect. But obviously if it's if you use it on the, the rear screws on the front tires, and these screws come too far through, and they, they scratch on the front of the car. And it seems like a really silly mistake to make, but believe me, I've seen it a lot of times. So that's just a little tip there. Anyway, so we'll build these two fronts up, and then um, we'll get cracking on the rears. Right, so this is a warm tyre, and I do find this a little bit easier than people struggle with this, and there's just no need to. Just put it on the grill, warm them up, it's, it's not red hot, and that's how easy it goes on. That's it. Right guys, that's the car done, um, pretty much. It's all been tested and working. And everything, all the shocks working fine, it's ready to hop around. <laughs> um, yeah, let's give you a quick scan of it. I'm not going to bother tidying the wiring up because I'm not going to be keeping it that long. Um, once I get it built, shoot some running footage, some action footage, then I'll probably sell it on. So I'll, uh, I'm going to leave the switch loose inside and that. Uh, um, but I'll tidy the wires away, make sure I'm not going to get in the way. But yeah, that went together really well. I really enjoy building that. It's a really fun build and, and it's quite easy and straightforward. And uh, they look great. So obviously I've got to um, paint the tyres, paint the writing on the tyres next. And get the body shell sorted out and then paint it in the decals. Um, so less talking, let's get on with it. <laughs> 